Is there a trigger that makes a man a fuckboy? In my perspective and opinion, I would think that it will be a trigger because if a man just wants to be with you, just to go to bed with you and not even try an effort to like, okay, let's go on a date, let's go for lunch or whatever, and all they want to do is either come to your place and let's cuddle or mm. come to my place and then, you know, that, that's a trigger. What makes a fuck boy fuck? Well, a fuck boy will only fuck because that's all they're good at, apparently. Because apparently they come with some dick hanging shit and be like, yo, girl, I can take it down in a minute. And they get these girls addicted because they give good sex. How does a fuck boy become a fuck boy? One, I think a fuck boy becomes a fuck boy because of your peers, the friends that you mm. keep. And then secondly, it's boys that really don't want to work. They just want to use their good looks, their good bodies and stuff mm. uh, to get good tables or to get a woman that can take care of them. Mm. Or because they know sometimes the older women, talking about myself, mm. just wants to <laughs> cuddle and fuck wow. and whatever. Yeah. So then they think, OK, there's a market for that. So let's just be this. In this era of fuck boys, what are ladies' chances of avoiding one. I had a little conversation with the younger generation as well, and they actually let me know that these girls that's younger than them that know how to set these fuckboys straight. Really? How? Apparently, they're ruthless, have no hearts, they're worse than fuckboys. Like, they literally go to you and fuck you like a girl fucking a guy, yeah. literally, and, fuck, and make them fall in love. And then, whilst they're with you, Laying on your chest as a fuckboy, this girl will be texting a man they really want to have a life with. Wow. So they literally hurt these fuckboys, which wow. has never happened before. Revenge is sweet. Revenge is sweet. So I, I think maybe the younger generations will probably win. Are they harmless or are they very harmful? I'd like to think so. They're harmless because I don't believe that a girl would sleep with a guy through rape or whatever. He definitely must ask you or he caresses you for you to drop your panties. So it's harmless. It's a it's a win-win situation. It's just that now we label these people mm. just like, you know, how they label uh, slay queens. Is it safe to say that the highest concentration of fuckboys is south of Johannesburg? <gasps> Apparently not. Apparently there north where the champagne pops is where the five boys are at. Apparently you walk into a mall, they write their post it themselves. You go into a club, they have the best tables. You go to a restaurant, they out there chilling outside, waiting for girls that drive hot cars to park and they attack them. Mm. So it's not in the south, it's definitely in the north. If I was once a fuck boy and now I've changed You've repented. a new leaf, I've repented, and I'm in a new relationship, should I keep my fuck boy life a secret? I just believe that in a relationship, people should just come clean on their past so that nobody can come at you and use that against your guy's relationship. My final question to you is, uh, is there a path to rehabilitation? Is it possible to rehabilitate yourself? Firstly, I need to make this clear, guys. Fuck boyism is not a disease. So it's not something that you really need rehabilitation for. No, it's a stage and it's a mood. Basically, that's what mm. I would say. It's a mood. It's what a boy wants to do when they want to do it. It's not something that you need to go to and see a psychiatrist or anything. No, it's not a disease. Okay. So you can never get rehabilitated for that until you're ready to get out of that phase and get yourself a job and stop looking for girls to fuck to get your life going. So, yeah. Right.